Hi, in this video we will discuss the problem course schedule. Previously this problem has been asked in Google. So let us quickly read what the problem says and then we will discuss it further. So basically in this problem you can see that a total number of n tasks will be given to you which you have to pick and the task will be labeled from 0 to n minus 1. Some tasks have prerequisite. Okay, so for example to pick task 0 you have to finish the task 1. Okay, so what does this mean? Like basically if you have been given a pair, let's say as uh, 0 comma 1, then in uh, like let me just check. So if you have been given a pair, let's say as 0 comma 1, then what you need to do is you need to do the task 1 first and then you can do the task 0. Because the problem says that in order to pick the task 0, you have to finish the task 1 first of all. So 1 will be done and then 0 will be done. So there is a directed edge that needs to go from 1 to 0. Okay. So in general, if you have a pair, let's say A comma B. So you need to do the task B first and then you can do the task A. So from B, there will be an arrow that will go towards A. So from B, there is an arrow going to A. This is what we need to notice. And this is a directed edge that is going. Okay, now furthermore in this problem you can see that you have been given a total number of n tasks and a list of prerequisite pairs have been given to you. You have to find the ordering in which you should pick up the task such that all the tasks or the courses can be completed. Okay, if it is impossible to do so, then you have to basically do what? You have to return an empty list. Otherwise, if it is possible, so you can return any order. Now, what does this mean when they say any order? So you can see, suppose that if they will give you 0, 0,1 pair and they will give you a pair that is, let's say 0, 0,2. So if you are given these two uh, prerequisite pairs, okay, then from 1, there is an arrow going to 0. From 2, there is an arrow going to 0. Okay, if from 1 there is an arrow going to 0 and from 2 there is an arrow going to 0. So you can very clearly notice this that what we can do is either we can do the task 1 first. Okay, then we can do the task 2 and then since 1 and 2 will be done, then we can do the task 0. This can be one of the orders. Okay, the other, other order can be what? The other order can be that firstly we can do the task 2, then we can do the task 1 and then we can do the task 0. That can also be another possibility. So either doing 1, then doing 2 and then doing the task 0 finally at the end of the day or doing 2, 1 or 0. So that is what they mean that they will exist multiple answers but you can return any one of them. Okay, it is not necessary that you have to return a fixed uh, fixed answer only since there can be many possible possibilities for an answer even for a smaller test case. You can see there are a couple of answers. So you can return any of them and that will be accepted by the uh, platform okay now moving on to this how we can solve this problem and when will it be impossible to complete all the tasks so suppose that if you have got zero okay then you have got one then you have got two suppose you have got three then you have got four then for four you have got five then for five you have got three okay uh, like so in the adjacency of zero you have one then one is having arrow edge towards two 2 is having edge towards 3 this is directed as you can see now in this particular graph what will happen is basically 0 will get done 1 0 is get done then 1 can be done then 2 can be done okay once 2 is done okay after that 3 cannot be done why because once 2 is done so the dependency of 2 from 3 is reduced but still 3 is dependent on 5 okay so there is a cycle that exists from between 3 4 5 so if in this directed graph there is existing a cycle then it is impossible to do a task because uh, for now for doing 3 you need to do 4 5 for doing 5 you need to do 4 for doing 4 you need to do 3 so that is why this is not possible here so this is what you need to notice that whenever there will be a cycle forming then all the n nodes or all the n courses will not be there in the answer and if the answer dot size if the answer size at the end of the day if it is not equal to all the end courses that were given so if there were six courses and the answer size is only three then it is impossible to do the task and you should return an empty error now how can we solve this problem so for solving this problem we can basically do what we can basically make the use of something that is known as topological sort so we can apply topological sort here because basically whenever it comes to dependency concept then we apply the topological sort so for solving this problem we need to apply the topo logical sort here okay we need to apply the topological sort and basically topological sort is applied using the bfs algorithm and it is also known as kahan's algorithm okay Kahan's algorithm. It is based on the n degree concept. Now, what like if I will explain? So let's say if we had from zero, like for zero, we were having an arrow from one and two. 
Okay, so what would have happened in adjacency list of zero would have been empty. Then adjacency list of one would have been what? Adjacency list of one would have been uh, containing zero. Adjacency list of two would have been containing what? Uh, it would have been containing zero here, right? Now, if you will see here uh, very quickly. So the thing is that what is the in degree of an edge? Uh, like what is the in degree of a node? So in degree is basically what? Whenever there is an edge coming towards a node, so its in degree is uh, increasing. Basically, suppose you have A, B and from like you are having arrow towards C. So C is having in degree as what? 2 because there are two, uh, two edges or two arrows coming towards C. Okay. So we'll iterate through all the edges and list and we'll increase the in degrees one by one. So in degree of 0, we'll check, we'll check the in degree of 1, we'll see the in degree of 2 also. So in degree of 0, like if you'll see in the adjacency list of 0, there is nothing. So 0 is having an edge towards no node. So nothing is there. In the adjacency list of 1, 0 is there. Okay. So since 1 is having edge towards 0, so that's why you will increase the in degree of 0 by how much? By 1. So it will become 1. Okay. Then in the, uh, like after that, in the adjacency list of 2, 0 is there. So 2 is having an arrow towards 0. So in degree of 0 will increase by 1 more. It will become 2. So this is what is happening here. Okay. Now, if you will see here, so this is what happens. Now, uh, after this, what you will do is you will declare a queue and in that particular queue, you will initially iterate and you will insert the nodes which are having the in degree as zero. So you'll insert one and you'll insert two. Now you will pick out one, you will put it in the answer and whichever nodes are there in the adjacency list of one, you will release the, their in degree because one is getting done. So the in degree of the connection should reduce. So if one is getting done, so in zeros in degree should reduce by one, it will become one. Then after that, the next uh, guy in the front of the queue is two. So we'll pick up two. And uh, then once we have picked up two, so two is having zero in the adjacency list. So zeros in degree will reduce by one more. So it will become zero. Okay. Now, since zeros in degree becomes zero, so I'll insert it in the queue and then I will put it in the queue. And then it is like one, two, zero. So you can see that we are getting the order as one, two, zero. And this is how we get all the courses. Now, when will this not happen? This will not happen if uh, all the nodes that are there, if they are not inside the answer, then we can say that the answer does not exist for uh, like, then we can say that the, it is impossible to do all the tasks. For example, if you have zero, then one, then two, and then you have three, and then you have four, and then you have, let's say four is having an arrow towards two. Okay, so firstly, you will have what like in the inside the queue, you will insert zero because zero will have the in degree as zero. Okay, then after that, like you will put zero in the answer. Then the next node will be what one once in degree will become zero. So you'll insert one here. Okay, then what will happen? You will push one inside the uh, queue and you will pop it out. Now after one is done, then two cannot be put inside the queue. Because what happens is now once you are at two, the thing with two is that currently since we are having two, so two is having in degree as one, it is not zero. So we cannot insert it inside the queue. And since the queue becomes empty now, so the BFS will stop. And you can see that in the answer, only two nodes are present, whereas total number of nodes were five. So if the answer size is not equal to N, then the answer is not possible. Let's quickly try and see how we can code this problem up. Okay. So basically what we uh, need to do here is I will just quickly write this code. So firstly, we'll have a vector int answer. Okay. Then we'll have what? Uh, then we'll have the int in degree of uh, like in degree will declare the size as n. Initially, we'll mark all the in degrees as zero. Okay. Then we need to declare a q uh, int q. Okay. Then after this, uh, what we will uh, do here is that we'll have for int uh, i starts from zero, i is less than pre. So let me, instead of prerequisite, let me write it as pre, okay. So pre dot size, then we'll do an i plus plus here. Then after this, what we will do is we'll say that int a is equal to pre of i zero, okay. Then we'll say that int b is equal to pre of i one. Okay. Then after this, we can say that in the adjacency list of B, we need to insert or we need to add A, right? So we'll push back A because B is having an arrow towards A. So in the adjacency list of B, A should be present. And since A is getting arrow towards itself, so we can say that in degree of A should be increased. So I'll increase the in degree of A. Now, once this part is done, so what we will do here is after this part gets done, then we can simply say that uh, we can iterate through all the nodes once again, i starts from zero, i is lesser than n, i plus plus, and then whichever nodes are having the in degree as zero. So if the in degree of any ith node is equal equal to zero, then we are going to do what? We are going to push it inside the queue. So we'll push 
all the nodes that are having n degree as 0 inside the queue. After this, we can simply run a while loop that while the queue dot uh, empty equal to false. So if the queue is not empty, then what we will do is we will take out the current node. So the current will be q dot front okay then we will do what we will pop it out of the queue okay and then after that we will push it in our final answer also so answer dot push back the current node okay and then since the current node is there that is get since the current task is getting done so we can say that all whichever task are connect uh, are there in the adjacency list of the current we need to release their in degrees by one so we'll say that adjacency of current dot size so basically whichever nodes are there in the adjacency list of the current we need to uh, release their in degree by one so connection is equal to adjacency of current j okay and then after that i will say that in degree of the connection will be reduced by one okay and then if the in degree of the connection becomes equal equal to zero then we will do what we will say that answer dot uh, like then we will we have to push it inside the queue so we'll push the connection inside the queue and then after this bfs will be over so we need to check if suppose that the answer dot size is equal equal to n so this means that there is no cycle and all the tasks are finally stored in the answer a task will be stored only when its n degree becomes zero that is it becomes uh, independent so one by one the dependencies get resolved okay then we will return what then we are going to return the answer the, the list that we have stored else we are going to return an empty list so we'll return an empty list here okay let's try and run this and see what happens okay so i guess i have not declared the adjacency list let me declare it so vector int adj of n okay now let's try and run it again okay adj dot bi written now let's correct it and see whether it is working fine or not it works fine on the samples let us submit this code as well to check if it is working properly or not so you can see that our code was able to pass all the test cases and the time complexity for this problem will be the same as that for bfs that is order of v plus e and we are taking adjacency list and q as extra so the space complexity will be also same as that for bfs in case if you have any problems so you can ask your doubts in the comments and i'll try to reply them thank you for watching this video